What's up guys, the Crimson Gamer here. And before I start this, I'd just like to say, if you can hear anything in the background, I do apologize. So I don't know if you can actually hear it, but I sure as hell can. So, anyways, welcome to this week's Saturdays with Crimson. And in this week's Saturdays with Crimson, I was thinking I was gonna do something a bit special. Last week we did the same sex marriage, and then we did my favorite video game characters, and but anyways, um, that got me thinking something like I did my favorites, things that I like, so I want to do this as another thing I like. I don't know if, I don't, not many of you really know about this, but I have a second YouTube channel. I had one previously before I started this gaming channel, and it is called Crimson Studios Productions. It is a YouTube channel where I create uh, indie films and publish them onto the channel. So if you're curious about that, I'll leave the link to the channel in the description below. But anyways, this week I'm going to be talking about how to make indie films. Um, it's not the greatest guide on how to, I'm just going to explain to you guys how I've done it. So if you want to check the channel as well after this, uh, you can check it. Like I said, we're not the greatest, but we're not the worst either. So, you can learn some experience from me. Okay, so, what happened uh, it was around early 2013, two of my friends um, were going to do a video uh, for a Halloween special to present to one of my classes, and they, uh, what am I saying? Okay, sorry. And they wanted me to help them out with it. So I decided, I'm like, sure, yeah, I'll help. Because I love helping people. I like making people's lives better. And so I went there. And they had this little digital camera. And it was almost like one of those you just take to use to take pictures. It was just a basic one. But it had this. What they did is they just used the video capture um, setting. It's not the greatest. There's a bit of delay with it too. But... Anyways, yeah, they had that, and it was, we were just doing stuff in the forest, having me as like a Slenderman-ish character and stuff, but anyway, anyway, um, you know, it was just, as we were filming it, I kind of thought to myself, wow, this is actually really fun. Maybe I could do this for a living. So I wanted to be, that was when I set out to be a director. I still have that passion today, but I do not know if a director is the path I want to take. So that's why I'm kind of merging on to the indie films. Um, so, like anyways, yeah, ever since then, I, that's why I decided to release my own stuff. And that's why I created my channel. And anyways, so these are my opinion on how to make a good indie film. First off, you need a good camcorder. So for me, I use a Canon Vixia R300. Um, it's a very good camera. It's what I use to record all of my videos. I'm recording on it as we speak. Anyways, so it's basically has really good. It's 1080p. It's, I don't know all the details. It's, it's really good. And it's what most people use. Most YouTubers use most indie filmers use and yeah so that's what I use when I capture anything whether it's one of these Saturdays with Crimson vlogs or actually a film or one of my just gaming videos on the Crimson Gamer so anyways I use this because it's very helpful to me and it's always been since I got it was a Christmas gift because I originally when I started out I used like you know like the little cameras like I was telling you about before and it wasn't really helping that well because there's the delay, like a five second delay before the recordings actually started. So it kind of screwed us a little bit. So this one records instantly. As soon as you press the record button, you're on to go. You can just use your clipboard thingy and you're done. But anyways, yes, so that's what you need. Camera. First, okay, that's just something you need to film it. But the actual first step in making a good indie film would most likely have to be a good script. And... There are so many different ways to write scripts out there. You can write like a play, you can write it futuristic, you can write anything. But the one I seem to use a lot is I use the Courier New font, and every time there's a new scene, I bold it, and I use 
arrows to indicate when someone's moving. I use brackets to indicate when the shot type changes. So you it, you have to have a strongly built script. It doesn't matter like what I said how I make my script, but you the what draws the film and what builds the film in together, breaks it together, is the script. That's how you that's what you need to actually make it. So have a strong script, have good character development, add maybe a little bit of romance. Just add things that you know would get people's attention. For example, this film I'm working on right now, something that I revived an old series that I did and I'm adding more stuff to it. Stuff that, that when you'll go and watch the older ones, you'll be like, oh yeah, I never picked up on that. I'm taking the small things and making them big things. And it's really interesting because the film did actually really well when I released it. And then the sequel is the one I'm currently writing. So, um, have a very built, strong script. And then, also, when you're filming, you already know what I said to use. Um, get cast. When you ca <laughs> when you cast the people for your film, the actors, whether they're friends or people you don't know, make sure they are meant for the character you were casting them for. Because if anything, if there's anything that I've learned over the past few years of filming, it's that sometimes people, I know they can be good friends, but they're just not meant for certain roles. And yes, you have to cut them out. So it's a, it sucks doing it, but it's most of, sometimes it's what has to happen. So that is what you do for that. Um, the next thing would probably be filming. Make sure um, that whoever actors you have memorize the scene that you're gonna be filming that day, or make sure you got a good location. Location is a key part. When you think of your script and you think of the type of area that you want that scene to be in, find a perfect area for that. An area that you kind of think would go well. And if you think it goes well, odds are it is going to go well. So, yes. Um, next move would be probably to... Sorry, my mind's not working right now. Oh, yes. Now it's post-production time. So when you have all your stuff filmed, you got your script written, you got your scenes filmed, you got to have a good editor for your film. So what I use is I use Movie Studio Platinum 12, and occasionally I use um, After Effects, but I personally don't have After Effects, I've used the trial. So that's basically what I use. Movie Studio Platinum 12, most of you may know it by the name of Sony Vegas. Um, it was renamed and it's basically, there's really no difference, it's the same thing. That's what I use to edit and it's really helpful. I edit my Crimson Gamer videos and I edit everything on there. So it's really strong. You can add, there's all these different columns where you can add special effects and match them up with the actual scenes and it goes well so good. You can edit out green screens, you can add in green screens, you can just render anything into the editor. like any file you can do and it's really cool how you can overlay some things sometimes like overlap spells or zombies or anything like it's just a really helpful editor in my opinion so that typically is what I do as an indie filmmaker um, I'm sure there's a lot of different people that have different opinions on this but this personally is just what I do and it's what I've been doing for the past two, three years. So this has been Saturdays with Crimson. I hope you found this video helpful. And I hope if you guys, any of you guys have a passion for indie filmmaking, then maybe you'll take my advice and you can make your project, your dream project become a reality. And like I say a lot, nothing is impossible if you pursue your dreams. So just yeah have fun guys uh, film up get a good film if you um, need any advice on making a film you can feel free to email me at crimson gaming 1999 at gmail.com or simply send me a message via my YouTube channel and I'd be glad to help you out 
So this has been Saturdays with Crimson, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.